Ben. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head but without action upon their ideas. There will be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. And what's going to be pretty cool, folks, at 20 past the hour, I'm going to have a man uh, that uh, has taken action on his ideas. It's going to be, I guess, uh, is going to be one of the first brokers that put up a, a beautiful house in Bel Air Shores in Florida, and they are willing to uh, take Bitcoin. So uh, we're going to go over that uh, with Nahid and see where that thing is shaking out. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 35 points. You had the Nasdaq up 57. s and is up 6. Gold contract down $12.20, trading at $1,242 an ounce. Silver. Down 30 cents, $15.79 an ounce. Neither one of those can catch a bid, folks. If we go over to that gold contract, what you're going to see, April 14th, gold's trading at 13.65. Right now, you're at 12.42. You're coming into the lowest swing point, lowest swing point that we're talking about out here. Uh, you have 11, no, 12.36. And the bottom line is we break that 1236, it's going to be trouble in paradise here because you get uh, the next one down uh, is 1186 to 1136. So you're talking about a big number here. If we go to the GLD and we take a look at the GLD that trades at 10% of the price of gold, you're going to see that's trading at $1.17, 117, down from 129. We take a look at that and we put that back. Uh, what you're going to see is that's into the swing point right now, which is the 117.40. Uh, now, we came down to 117.40 right on the nose today. That is the swing point from the uh, uh, week of the 12th of February of December uh, 2017. Uh, we did that uh, with 11.9 million versus 37. Uh, and that 37, however, is a weekly basis. So you're actually coming into that kind of hot. Um, bottom line is that that's, that could be a problem uh, inside the metal contract. Silver. What do we have with silver? Silver also got, couldn't catch a bid out here. Silver traded to $15.80. And if we take a look at that silver contract, what you're going to see the differential inside the silver is that the silver contract does have a, you know, hasn't broken the, the consolidation that it's in. Uh, bottom line, you know, that the, the bottom of that consolidation is um, $15.15. That we were down there on July of uh, 2017, last July, actually, a year, a year ago. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. Uh, what we do have inside the equities, they, they still held up. Pretty amazing that they held up, actually. Uh, the GDX was down 23 cents, 31 million shares traded. We went topside on Friday with 53 million. So they continue to want higher price. If you do look at a couple of the larger weighting structures inside that, you'll see that uh, Barrick Gold, Flat today, $13.12. That's the second largest weighting structure. Newmont Gold is the largest weighting structure. That went sideways also. That was down $0.16, cents, trading $37.55. Notes and bonds continue to want higher price. So we have holiday trading week. Tomorrow, the market's closed at 1 p.m. Closed on uh, Wednesday, of course, July 4th. Uh, Thursday, Friday, I expect it's still going to be slow. If we take a look at this 10-year out here today, you're going to see the 10-year traded up to 140.14. You closed at 120.14. You closed at 120.02. Had light volume. You're backing down with light volume. Backing down with a million versus 1.6 million. That still wants higher price. We take a look at the 10-year. The 10-year right now is yielding 2.866. In the last three months, the low has been 2.7. The high is 3.1. King dollar. What do you have with king dollar? Okay, so we know king dollar is moving markets right across the world too, folks. That's the bottom line. You have a... Now, when we look at our own dollar index, okay, the bottom line is that the index is made up of different structures, meaning the euro is the largest weighting structure, uh, uh, like 60%. The yen is next. Uh, the that being said, the dollar against some of these currencies flat out, meaning currency pairs, has been much stronger than the index itself has been. 
Uh, today, what we did, we're up 301 ticks. You've done 15,000 contracts. Now, that's light contract volume getting back up to the highs. I do expect it's going to get tested. You know, we had come down on Friday with 28,000. That was the first time that we actually came down off the highs when it was testing the October 2017th high of 95,070, and you did have volume off the high. So bottom line, I do expect you're going to see another test this week. The real question is going to be, can it hold that higher test? Uh, overseas last night, uh, Asia got smoked. It got toasted and roasted in a big way. You had the Nikkei down 2.5%. Two, two um, Shanghai was uh, off 2.5%. Uh, you had uh, Taiwan off 2% right across the board. What's intriguing here is that the yen didn't get stronger as the Nikkei fell apart. Um, so we'll see how this shakes out tonight. Normally when you see um, the Nikkei down the types of numbers that you have out here, I mean, it was the Nikkei was down, I believe, 500 points. Let me just go pull this up again. Yeah, we're down 492 points. I mean, this thing, got, this thing broke a consolidation that has been in since April of 2018. You had volume behind the move. The Nikkei bottom line now wants to run down to this uh, 21,000, uh, which were 21,080. And uh, to get back over to the, the yen, most times when you see that the Nikkei takes conniptions, you are going to see the yen get stronger. Now, that didn't happen last night. We'll see whether there's going to be a delayed reaction in this right now the yen is trading at 110.83 to one u.s dollar now as the yen goes higher in price that means it gets weaker to the u.s dollar no, normally uh, what you see is that when the nikkei gets uh, down to two and a half percent which it did last night uh bottom line is that most times what you're going to see is that that nikkei will go higher in price if the one the the yen is getting weaker and that's what was actually happening last night so it was just the uh, dramatic difference uh, uh germany says they got a deal with uh the migration uh clash with merkel is resolved that should put some juice into the pound uh i expect we're going to start seeing some movement uh in that pound you just had a little pop. We just went from a price point. Let's see what we did. We just went from 116.16 uh, 16 to 116.43. Uh, Stay right there, folks. Uh, we got a special guest coming back. We are going to be talking Bitcoin. We are talking a beautiful house on the beach, and he is marketing it using Bitcoin. Coming right back.